Hey there. Today you're going to hopefully help me decide what to purchase at our Mets. And I wish it was like a bag or something fabulous, but now it's going to be talking about Apple watches, Apple accessories, and possibly some other items as well. So if you're interested in helping me with that endeavor, please stick around. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your favorite fragrance, cup of coffee, skincare, designer handbags, accessories, and the like. And today I wanted to pick your brains about Apple Watch slash Hermes and what your thoughts are on that product. If it makes sense to purchase, if you think it's just frivolous, Apple Watch in general is frivolous, so, you know, we're, whatever, <laughs> we're there. But I, I really have um, kind of a interesting history, I guess, with this process. So I've had my Apple Watch um, and variations of it for quite some time. I've started out, I wasn't an early adopter, but probably by second series, I, I've been, I've had one on my wrist pretty much since. And I'm not likely to move away from it. I know that folks usually, um, you know, go to more, how do I want to say this eloquently, um, glamorous <laughs> types of um, wristwear, you know, Rolex and such. Um, I do prefer the smartwatch just because of the functionality, the types of um, use you can get from the product. Um, the appearance obviously is not is as luxurious as other types of watches can be, but um, what I need it to do, it I need it to, to, to function in a certain manner. And this is what works for me. So I do want to have something that does look relatively nice though on my wrist. And, um, so far the initial iterations of the watch have looked pretty, you know, mediocre at best. So when Hermes joined forces with Apple several generations ago, I never really bought into the hype of buying Apple Watch Hermes. I just was like, why am I spending twice as much to get basically the same watch, a fancier band, a couple of extra faces, whoop de doo But as far as the functionality of what the item did, there's no additional benefit to up Creating the product to this level. Um, and so I usually get the, um, I guess, men's version, the larger watch face. Um, and in this case, it's starting out at the size I usually get. So a 42 or 44 mm, um, and then going up to a 46 mm. Um, so I wouldn't need to get the men's size to have the same visibility or look that I would need. So there's that. Um, there's, of course, the, the watch faces, the presentation, you get two bands. Um, there's some benefit, I guess, is the, the best way to describe it, to getting um, the, the partnership upgrade this year. But that being said, there aren't a whole lot of um, great looking bands that really like I was hoping for um a leather double tour in a really nice um presentation I don't at least so far in the the versions that I've I've seen don't really see those options the way that they were in the past so I'm kind of hesitant there to pick up a fabric um band and not a leather band so um this is my Series 7 watch, and I ended up picking up an aftermarket um, Hermes band from Fashion File, and this is the Navy Single Tour one from Hermes, and I like it. It's um, 
a very nice constructed band. Of course, I don't have this the special watch faces. I appreciated the um, elevated presentation that you get with Hermes. So the box is much nicer. The interior is much nicer as far as how you store your your extra bands. Um, so there's that. Is it worth double the price? I'm still leery about that. I certainly wouldn't have said so um, previously in the prior versions of it. I'm a little bit torn this time. So I'm really considering picking one up this time. I have my appointment on um, the Monday as I'm leaving Chicago and I'm considering picking one up when I'm there when I'm in store. So I'm, I'm really trying to figure out if it's going to make sense to, um, get this product and, um, what will make sense for, for the future. The other option is again, to just get the standard upgraded, um, design from Apple directly and then buy the watch band aftermarket because they do allow you to do that. When you do that, you don't, you still don't get the upgraded faces. Is that enough to justify, you know, three, four hundred dollars extra? I want to say at least three or four hundred dollars extra, uh, depending on the, the band you, that you get and the, the design you get. So it's really something I've been toying with for quite some time. OK, so here are the options I'm considering for Apple Watch Hermes. There are more expensive. There are cheaper. There are various sizes, but I have narrowed it down to, I want a 46 millimeter um, because the bands that come with the 46 are the ones that fit my wrist. Um, there is a 42, which technically that would be just slightly smaller than the one I currently have, which is a 44 series seven in the regular Apple watch. But because the bands are significantly smaller at Hermes, um, I have to go to, to at least the 46 or go to the Ultra, and I don't want an Ultra. So I am going with the 46 if I choose to go with Apple Watch Hermes. And these are the options that are available. So there's this fabric band that I'm not too... Um, keen on. I think if we're going to go Hermes, we should go leather. So that's the whole point. Um, so they have the single tour and then they have the double tour happy. And then they have the, which, which um, is nice. I don't think I want to, I don't think I want a metal band. Um, I, I don't think I want to go that high up in cost. And I, I just, don't I don't think I've ever wanted a metal band for my Apple Watch. I've been wearing them for years now and I may have gotten one at one point and I wore it for maybe a week and just didn't care for the way it felt. So um we're I'm discounting this one completely. But I am a little bit um tempted by the happy one. But I think I'm just gonna stick with the the base model. And it's just kind of narrowing it down between the, the various types of bands. Oh, this one is the deployment. So it has this um, quick release buckle. I just, I don't see the need to, for me personally, just to, to do that. I don't think I, I need that option. So I'm just sticking with the look of a single tour with the regular just latching mechanism. So um there's the ivory, um, I forget the actual color. Um, so noir, um, gold, and then a tube. I, I'm pretty much here. So probably a tube, possibly gold, but um, more than likely a tube for the tones that they have. So yeah, I'm pretty sure. So titanium finish, 46 millimeter case. Um, the other things that are unique, I might have mentioned earlier, was um, the faces. They have five faces this time that are unique. This is one of them that they have that's special. So um, this changes depending on the, you know, what you turn here, what um, I think time of day as well. If it's, you know, um, like when you move your wrist, it kind of changes its appearance as a special horse. 
Um, this regular one, I forgot, there's like just five total. So if I find all the images, I will insert them as well. Um, the other thing that you get with um, Apple Watch Hermes is the orange, H orange um, sports band. And of course it has the special um, latching mechanism here that's stamped with Hermes. So you can't buy that band separately or elsewhere. Um, you can buy other of these straps separately, but you cannot get this one. So this one will come with the two versions. Um, so whatever strap you pick, and then you get this in the, the main box and it comes in a two box, um, package. So this is what I'm considering. And that's going to be, um, I believe it said 13, yeah, 1349 for that. So alternatively, there is at um, apple.com. So the standard regular watch series, um, this would more than likely be how I would normally do things. I would buy the newest series and probably the most reasonable one in this case the aluminum they have titanium as well here but um they don't have rose gold in titanium so that's why i'm picking the aluminum case although i prefer the titanium case but i miss rose gold my series one was a rose gold and i loved that watch it was so pretty on the skin so that's the only reason why i'm going with the lower end one on this one um but we're still looking at um a 42 um rose gold 500 dollars with gps so at least $500, I would definitely buy a separate strap from Hermes. So ultimately, this is going to be, you know, like $900 when it all is said and done um, with the purchase. It's just that from Hermes, it would be um, titanium, silver, watch face, and the um you get the orange band and you get the strap that's leather which you can't get from apple apple has stopped making leather bands um with their their new initiative so that's kind of what i need help with deciding as far as the watch goes and if it makes sense to go ahead and buy it from hermes because i'd want to pick it up from them directly to get the wrapping and packaging and all that kind of stuff so it's it's literally a matter of looks and basic functionality. And I don't know if it's worth it at this stage. So I'm really curious to see if, if any of you have picked it up, are going to pick it up, if you feel that the Apple Watch or Mez is worth it. Do you think it's just the hype? Are there other products you'd rather spend your money on? I'm sure that there are. And with that, so the other thing I'm considering while I'm there then is rather than getting, you know, the, the new Apple Watch Hermes is going ahead and just spending the money on some other leather bracelets or um, the click clack bracelet, these things that I've been wanting for quite some time and seeing if that makes more sense, like investing in those accessories that go along with this product rather than um, just upgrading this one item. So I could get the band for $400 and a bracelet much cheaper than upgrading to an Apple Watch on that. Okay, so if I don't get the watch, I definitely wanna get some bracelets and regardless, I'm gonna try on bracelets while I'm there because there are a number of bracelets that I like, but this is the women's section and what I've found almost 90% of the time is that I, you know, I love this bracelet here. I really want it. But when I go in and see the size here, a PM, I, let's do inches here. That is not my wrist size. I need at least the GM and even that, um, it, while I have a seven and a half inch wrist, I, that's probably going to be either tight or just barely loose on me. And that's, you know, being a plus size person, it's just not the most ideal guesstimate to make online. So I need to find a way to really try them out in person. And of course, they don't even have it um, in stock online. So my whole point is to go in and find 
where I can get um, a good idea of what makes sense. So I think I have a T3 happy bracelet, if I remember correctly. Um, I think it's T3. It might be a T6. I can't remember if it's the largest in the women's or the largest in the men's, but um, it fits just fine. Um, yeah, I'm thinking it's probably a T6. But so here I'd have to have at least the T4 and even that, I don't think that would even fit my, my wrist. Um, and they don't even make it. So do they make it in any of the sizes? So I don't think any of the ladies, um, selections would fit me and that just kind of bums me out. So yeah, so a T3 goes to the six and a half inch and I have at least a seven on a good day when I'm holding water or whatever, it's, you know, at least a seven and a half. So I have incredibly large wrists. So typically what I do is I go over to the men's section and um, they have really, you know, nice bracelets. And a lot of them are very similar in style to the ladies. In fact, I, I really care. I really like these um, tone on tone um, colored metals. They're really pretty. So even those are nice. Um, they've got some new ones that I hadn't seen last time I was shopping. So those are kind of fun, but like their sizing definitely will fit um, for sure. So like the T4, sorry, T6, excuse me, the T6, you know, I know I will fit in that for sure. And probably even the T5, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So T5, T6, I feel more than comfortable purchasing something, but I want to go in and, and double check and, and confirm across the board, which um, is the standard size that I would want to pick up at any given time um, for these types of bracelets. For the most part, it seems like the leather has a little bit more wiggle room, but not so much with the um, the Click HH ones. Those seem pretty um, set in stone. So like a T5 is 7.3 inches. T6 is 7.7. .7, so I'd probably want to get a T6 if I went that route. But I definitely want to try these on because I at some point do want to pick up one of these for my collection. In a perfect world, I would love to be able to get this one for sure. Um, maybe a Kelly bracelet. Yeah, the Revell for sure. Um, this one's okay. I just am not as drawn to it as much as I am with the Revol, Revale, and the, the Kelly Double Tour for sure. And then I do want to try on a couple of these bangles as well because they look really cute. I like the ring um, on this one. I'm considering picking up that as well. So trying on all of these um, different options. This one, um, I'm, I'm not a fan of the really thick kind of bracelet. I think with my, um, you know, I'm already on thick. So this just kind of accentuates even more. So a thin a thin bracelet is actually better on me than having a thick bracelet. So, um, but the, it's basically, you know, this Reval is like a take on that one, just a smaller version of it. So those are the ones I'm considering. We'll see how it turns out. So those are the things I need to think about while I'm there. I'm hoping to get a good insight. So at the very least, if I can check out and see the items up close and personal and I can order it when I get home and, and get them later, I'm never in a hurry to spend the money. That's the, the one thing I have the patience. Of, you know, I can wait for days. So I don't have to have it tomorrow. I will certainly um, wait to hear any feedback that anybody has, but I'm I'm, I'd love to hear whatever information you might have so that while I'm there, I can, you know, make a conscious effort to look into any questions or items you have noticed or want to, to know more about. So I'm really curious about that. So if you have any questions for me, please leave them down below. Um, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. I'm going to be there from the 25th to the 28th of October. So love to hear from you in real time. If that's the case. This hopefully will be going up while I am 
either packing or <laughs> on my way. So get in there before I do. And I will hear from you as soon as I can. So take care. Bye-bye.